Okay, Don, we are ready to get going on your bullhead. So let's get things taken apart. We'll go through our usual cleaning process and inspection of all the parts. Make sure that um, everything is good to go, to go back together. dial is just gorgeous. Back of your dial is six zero. Back of your case is six zero.
Okay, that's the teardown. We're gonna go ahead and inspect all the components and look at everything very closely, make sure that um, there's no, no obvious issues um, that we can uh, take care of. And uh, we'll get, we'll be going on cleaning and reassembly. All right. Okay, Don, well, we are out of the cleaner. All the parts have been inspected, pre-lubricated, checked, uh, evaluated, and it's time to get things back together. So, let's get that started.
Okay, Don, <clears throat> we are back running. Let's go ahead and check our work. We're going to do our break in process and our adjustments, and then we'll continue. We'll be back. Okay, well, that's not a bad place to start. Let's go ahead and take. It's going to be a bit variable, but we're going to at least get the beat error out and uh, have a good look at the rate. Let's see. I'll take a guess here, which direction. All right, well, I'm gonna let this just kind of work its way around. It's, um, you know, it's one of those ones that needs a little time to get the lubrication set, but I think in terms of the adjustments, there's not much more I can do at this point. I think it's just a waiting game to make sure that the amplitude is um, gonna behave itself and come up nicely, which I think it will. It's just one of those things, these things, you know, they take a little time, but we'll come back and we'll have a look and see where okay done well after about i don't know maybe 40 minutes of break in time we've gotten up into the mid 230s which is exactly where these should be um i think we're gonna proceed over to the calendar and finish up the the service and then we'll get everything back in the case it's looking great this is a solid solid runner I'm very happy Okay, that is the end of the service. We are going to get the dial and hands back together onto the, onto the watch and get everything right back in the case. We'll be back in just a minute. Okay, Don, just the last few pieces of the puzzle left to assemble. Okay, well there we are. There is your very, very lovely 6138-0040 JDM Bullhead. Uh, just a favorite watch of mine. I really, really desire these. I mean, I don't have any JDM uh, watches like this. I, I really, I do have some Bullheads, but certainly nothing this, this lovely. Um, it is a pristine dial and hand watch. It is really nice. I mean, when you open up some of these, you can see that just the time and the wear has taken its toll on certain aspects. But for this one, it's not like that at all. It's, it's really, really quite lovely. Um, it's a great watch. I am very happy with the way the service ended up. Um, 
everything is functioning extremely well. It, it took a little break in, but the movement is performing, I would say, just flawlessly at this point. Um, I'm very happy with the way it, it turned out. Um, yeah, so that's, that's really the process done. Um, I was able to clean up your case really well. Had some paint and some <laughs> long time use material uh, stuck to it, but we got all that cleaned up. You had a little bit inside of here, um, a little bit of damage to your ceiling surface from just accumulation of moisture over time. And there's not a whole lot that I can do about that. I lubricated your case back seal. I don't think the damage comes all the way across the ceiling surface, which matters. So it should be fine. Of course, none of these should be anywhere near water, not even really just, you know, washing the dishes, I don't think um, is, is a good idea. Um, but this one should be fine um, with environmental moisture, you know, things like that. It's going to be uh, in good shape going forward. Uh, everything functions exactly as it should. Let's go ahead and pull up the crown. We'll take it through all of its paces. I'll go ahead and start the chronograph here. You'll see we'll click over midnight and then make it to the second day language. I'll bring your hands down here in the bottom half of the of the dial so that we can do the quick day and date so it's very far away from the tur turnover at midnight. You don't want to interfere. We'll get it set to Seiko Sunday, Red Sunday there. It's very nice. So uh, overall, uh, a success. Um, I have your original bracelet. We had discussed a bracelet for this watch. Um, I don't have a lot that's available. Um, I, ha I don't, of course, don't have any um, new old stock or original bracelets for these. Um, they are they are pretty expensive and hard to find, uh, but the aftermarket is really full of good replacement bracelets. And this is an asymmetric, what's called the it's a Z040S marked. I mean it's it's not Seiko, but it is a very good bracelet. Um, so if you're interested in this fishbone style uh, for this, uh, I have one available, and I'm happy to put it on uh, for the trip home. And we can discuss that, of course, uh, over email. Uh, but I just want to show you um, one one little tidbit of of information about how to reset these watches going forward. So, of course, when you got this watch, or you know, early in the life of this watch, it was it was a, had a lot of availability of replacement parts and things like that, and it was it was no big deal. You just sort of used it and and did what you needed to do. Um, if you're ever going to run the chronograph. Running it is perfectly fine. It's actually a good way to, to keep the watch going. Um, however, uh, when you want to bring the hands back to vertical, always do that as close to midnight as possible. So anywhere in this range from 11 to 1, um, that's where you should bring this hand, this hand here, the sweep hand, bring it between those two values, and then give it a good reset. What that does is eliminates a lot of torque on both the hand and the wheel that operates that this central hand because they're effectively irreplaceable at this point. There's no, there's no service parts. Um, once that chronograph wheel dies, it's the cost of a watch because you have to take apart a movement and a watch and whatever to get that wheel to replace it. Now, your hand had suffered a little bit of damage, which I was able to correct. Um, and that's from a situation where, and I'll show you where that happens. If, you're, if your minute hand is somewhere here or on this side of midnight, close to, the, close to the peak, and you go to reset the chronograph hand, um, either on this side of six or this side of six, depending on where the, the minute hand is, what happens is that there's so much force and so much torque applied that if I were to reset it here and put it back vertical and this hand was on this side, the deflection of this hand due to the large amount of torque would be enough to drive this hand into this hand and chip the paint as it goes by. 
That's why I say you should never ever really, you know, reset this hand far away from midnight because it will do quite a number uh, on multiple components, um, not just the uh, sweep hand and the chronograph wheel. It can actually damage your minute hand. And you see that a lot on these. They'll have little chips towards the end of the minute hand. So I always recommend, of course, going back towards midnight, letting it just run, run towards the vertical, give it a stop wherever you like, and then give it a nice push. Now your sweep hand is a little bit, and I look back, it's a little bit off vertical, which isn't too bad. It's about a half a second from vertical, but there's not a whole lot because these are keyed. Um, it's not much I can do to get that. It's keyed back to the, to the chronograph hand and the wheel, they're keyed together um, at the date of manufacture so that it, it holds it in place very well. So, that's your watch. Looking great, running fantastic. Uh, if you're interested in this bracelet, please let me know. Um, I'll put that on for the trip home. I've cleaned your original or your, your, your aftermarket Spidel. Um, I'll put that back um, either on the watch if, if we're not gonna uh, go with the new one um, or um, I can just leave it off and put this one on. A um, few little replacement parts, of course, nothing major, just seals and, uh, and a crystal. And so that's what we had discussed, getting this back into, into good, um, good form. So that is all for the service. I want to thank you again for trusting me with your watch. I, uh, I do appreciate it very much, and uh, thank you for your patience as I work through my ever ever growing list of um, of service requests um, it's it's kind of tough to uh, to keep up with it but um, you persevered and stayed in there and I, I do appreciate that very much and uh, I look forward to getting this back to you and getting it on your wrist all right well thanks very much Don and uh, I'll be in touch thanks for watching